Welcome back to China Price Watch, where we're looking at the Ministry of Railways' failed attempt to move ticketing online. Faced with the wrath of millions of Chinese netizens, the Ministry of Railways is under pressure to perform. In a sharply critical piece, the China Economic News said the ministry faced two options. Optimize the ticket booking process through massive upgrades in hardware and capacity, or throw the doors open, letting other e-commerce sites take responsibility for booking train tickets. After the Spring Festival ticketing disaster, one of China's leading e-commerce sites, 360buy.com, tried to take the lead by establishing its own ticket-selling platform. Things had just gotten underway when the ministry stepped in and brought the project to a halt. It declared that it was the only authorized seller of train tickets and that the fees charged by 360buy.com were illegal. Chinanews.com described the ministry's attempt to guard the ticket-selling process with a Chinese phrase, don't let fertilizer run onto others' fields. Critics of the ministry said it doesn't have to take either the optimizing or the opening up option. At the end of the day, the ministry is a monopolist, and a monopolist who has been given the responsibility to police itself. Some writers have suggested that the ministry replace its normal message, sight down due to too much traffic, with another phrase, sight down due to our monopoly. China's Ministry of Railways remains one of the largest and most opaque organizations in China, essentially a kingdom unto itself. The ministry operates its own utilities, schools, hospitals, and construction companies. Throughout the reforms of the 1990s, the ministry managed to maintain its position as both regulator and operator of all of China's railways. It's resisted incorporation into the Ministry of Transportation and still retains a seat on China's state council. That's the chief administrative authority in the country. The ministry has long stood accused as a hotbed of corruption. The Global Times spoke with Lin Zhe, an anti-corruption researcher at the Communist Party's party school. Quote, The monopoly of the railway ministry easily leads to corruption. It leaves a vast space for officials to engage in rent-seeking behavior. To solve the problem, we should seek to break the monopoly of the railway sector and introduce an open, transparent supervision system over the railway ministry. Unfortunately, such a move doesn't appear likely. The ministry has weathered far harsher storms, such as the fallout from the 2010 Wenzhou train crash. For now, business appears to be proceeding as normal. Amidst the outpouring of anger over the ministry's crippled system, the China Business News reported that the ministry had awarded a new $30 million contract to upgrade the system. Who was the recipient of the contract? Taiji Computer Corporation, the same company that built the first failed site and which is controlled by the country's powerful state-owned asset supervision and administration commission, which sits beside the Ministry of Railways on the state council. Don't go away, because up next on our question of the day, we ask Beijingers about their experience buying train tickets for the holiday. Stay tuned.